In the last video, we combined three-dimensional shapes to make new shapes to make composites. Now we're going to make some more new three-dimensional shapes, and this is lesson 11.3. So we've been learning about three-dimensional shapes, and we know they're also called 3D shapes. We use the number three for the word three, and we use the D for dimensional. We've been learning about the cube, the sphere, the rectangular prism, the cone, and the cylinder. And we can draw a cube. We can make one of these. We could have it facing this direction, so we see it a little bit on this side, or we could have it facing this direction, so we see it a little bit on that side. All we have to do is start with a square, and we have lines that are a little bit slanted coming out of the corners. So it slants this way, we make another one slanting the same way, and this one slants the same way, and we connect the lines. My drawing isn't that good. Maybe you can make better drawings. We can make it going this way. We make our square, we make our three lines coming out on a slant, and then we connect the lines. Okay? We can also draw a rectangular prism the same way. Instead of a square, we start with a rectangle. We make our three lines coming out on a slant, and then we connect them. See? We can make it slanting that way, facing that way a little bit so we see this side. We just make our rectangle, and now our three lines are going to come out this side. See? And then we connect them. All right? And we can use combined shapes to make new shapes. When we build a combined shape, we imagine it's stuck together. Like, we're going to pretend they're glued together, okay? So we can't take them apart once we build them. And we can build a shape, then repeat, and build more that are the same. So if I built one of these, so we're going to imagine, use our imagination and pretend like it's glued together. Okay, we built it and I make another one, I repeat what I did, and I've got two of these, we can use them to make new shapes. I could take this one and turn it upside down so it's on top of this one, and I can make that. See? Kind of looks like a capital letter I, doesn't it? If we turn it sideways, it would look like a H. See that? It would look like a H. If I turn my camera sideways, you can see the H. All right, so we can make new shapes. So if I build two of these shapes, and we're going to pretend they're glued together, which new shape can we make? Can we make this, or can we make this? When we look at what we've built, we've got a cone and a cylinder. That means if I've got two of these, then I've got two cones and two cylinders, don't I? That are stuck together, glued together like that. So, would I make this one or this one? Well, this one doesn't have cylinders. It has cubes. So it would be this one, wouldn't it? That's what we would make if we made two of those and put them together. Okay, let's try another one. If I built two of these, and we're going to imagine they're glued together. I glued the cone to the rectangular prism. Would I make, and I made two of them. Okay, so I built this, and then I made another one. Could we make this shape or this shape? Well, if I made two of these, then we're going to have a cone stuck to a rectangular prism, and then another cone stuck to a rectangular prism. So we'd have two cones and two rectangular prisms, wouldn't we? This one only has one rectangular prism. This one has two cones and two rectangular prisms, so this would be the one we could make. We would just turn one of them around so that one was facing that way and one was facing that way. See? If I built another one, we could turn it around and have it stuck onto the end of the other one. See? If I made two of these, would we be able to make this shape or this shape? Pretend they're glued together. When we look at the shapes that we used, we used a rectangular prism and a cube. So we need one prism, rectangular prism and one cube. Then if I built another one, I'd have another rectangular prism and another cube. So we have two of these and two of these. And we look at the shapes here. 
This one has two rectangular prisms and two cubes. And if we laid this down so it was on the rectangular prism, that would be sticking up, right? Then we could put another one on top of it. So it would be this one. Here's the rectangular prism with the cube, and here's the other one upside down on top of it. See that? This one only has one rectangular prism, so that wouldn't work. If I built two of these, we'd have two of each shape, and there's only one rectangular prism. So it would be this one. Does that make sense? Imagining that they're glued together can help. Now, look at this shape. We have all these stacked cubes, all nice and neatly stacked. How many cubes are there to make this shape? How many cubes did they use? We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight stacked cubes. Now, how many doubles are there? How many, if these were glued together, how many do you think they used to make this shape? We can count them. Here's one, two, three, four. They used four of them to make that shape. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit further here. Now, what if we glued four cubes together? How many of these would be used to make that shape? Well, here's one, two, three, four. That would be one of them. And then here's one, two, three, four. That would be another one. So we'd have two. If we put two of these together, we would be able to make that same shape. See? And we can draw a cone. It kind of looks like a triangle, except instead of going straight across the bottom, it curves, because cones have curves, don't they? So we can go like this, and then just put a curve at the bottom. See? We could put it this way, like an ice cream cone. We make a circle, and then we just come down. See? Or make an oval, actually, isn't it? If we were looking directly straight down at it from the top, it would look like a circle, but because we're looking at it from the side, it's going to look like an oval. We can draw a cylinder. It's going to have an oval on the top, just like the cone, because we're kind of looking at it from the side, so we can draw an oval, then the straight lines coming down, and then the curve. And we can draw it laying on its side. We draw an oval. We draw two lines coming out of it like that and then we put the curve. See? And we can draw a sphere. We just need to make a circle and then put that curved line showing that it's round. And if you want, you could put the dotted lines in showing that it's see-through, but you don't have to. Okay? Our next video is going to be problem solving. We're going to take apart three-dimensional shapes. We put them together, now we're going to take them apart. That's lesson 11.4, and see if you can try drawing these three-dimensional shapes on your own, okay? See if you can practice doing it. I'll see you next video. Bye.